up, guys? Uh, this is Ollie Proudlock, and this is the Movement UK. My name's Ollie Proudlock. I'm from London, and my movement is the fashion brand Serge Denim. Um, so Serge Denim is um, a men's urban streetwear brand, uh, which started in June 2011. Um, just after I left Newcastle University, where I studied art, I moved back to London and I set up the brand. Uh, started online, and now two years on, stocks in a few stores around the UK, and we got our pop-up shop on Carnaby Street. I've always been into fashion since a young age. Uh, music, fashion and art have been my three main passions. Um, when I finished studying fine art at Newcastle, I moved back to London um, and I wanted to have a break from, paint, uh, from painting, but I wanted to carry on being creative, doing my own thing. Um, and so for me, going from art into fashion was a very kind of natural development. Um, I always found the two go hand in hand. Um, so yeah, I started uh, coming up with the concept as soon as I pretty much moved back to London. And then six months later, I launched the brand. Uh, yeah, June, 1st of June 2011. For me, you know, now that I'm doing my own fashion brand, you know, I started with t-shirts um, and that was something I'm very familiar with. So when I used to have exhibitions, I always used to print my artworks on my t-shirts to kind of give people an opportunity to buy my, my artwork, but through a different different sort of art form. We're in the shop at the moment. We have five in total, including our brand. Uh, so the shop's called Head to Toe. So the concept is you can come to the store and get dressed head to toe. So we have, um, shoe brand Oliver Sweeney right here in front of me. Um, we also have Love Brand who do swim shorts. We have our stuff and then we have Finney & Co sunglasses and we have Marlborough World London who do um, leather bags, leather wallets, iPad cases and stuff like that. We've been going for yeah two years now and I think one of the hardest things is um, I guess is, is cash flow you know being able to keep to keep the cash flow going because one of these things is you want to constantly bring in new products um, so when you you know you're buying in a new range you've got to have a load of you know a load of capital to be able to bring in that that range um, for me the creative side is the part I love but I'm starting to learn the business and the financial side now and obviously you've got to have both of them so we're getting there now and we're at a good stage but yeah there are always hurdles along the way words of wisdom um, I would say um, Create something that you believe in. You got to love, love your product. You got to be passionate about it, um, and you can't just, uh, you can't just love what you're doing. You got to live it. Doing something, like, something like this on your own is not easy. Um, so yeah, I would say don't just love it, live it, and surround yourself by trustworthy, creative, like-minded individuals. What's happening next? Um, we're now expanding the product range, so we're, we're moving uh, you know, away from just t-shirts. we now got sweatshirts, we're doing accessories like caps, beanies. We've got our jewelry, which is coming out in the next couple of weeks, which is exciting. We're also um, we're moving into Top Man, um, so we've got the launch in Top Man on the 15th of August, which is going to be exciting. We're also moving outside of the UK, so we're going to be moving into Australia, um, and my plan now is to try and just build brand awareness you know I want, uh, the key for me is to keep the brand exclusive and I'm, I want to be very selective about the kind of boutiques and store that we go into but now I'm really looking forward to pushing the brand outside of the UK and also doing some collaborations as well so I want to say a big thanks for Movement UK for having me um, I'm looking forward to seeing this and uh, hopefully see you soon peace